Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens from iGo Sales and Marketing, and we're back with Sweet CRM. And today we're going to cover reports and report writing. Um, there comes some occasions where some of the standard reports that are offered uh, just don't meet your needs, and you may want to create your own report. Um, so today I'm going to cover how to create your own report, and as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to also add it to your dashboard uh, on the front page. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Okay. So you'll find uh, reports in the um, all menu, um, or however you've got it customized set up. But um, we'll just roll down to reports. And then from the report module, uh, you can, on the left-hand side, just um, create a report. Um, and in the Create screen, you have a few options here. Uh, the first one is the name of the report. So today we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to take opportunities, and we're going to sort them by stage. Uh, so let's call this Opportunities by Stage. Okay. Um, and then the next field is uh, who do you want to assign this to uh, and it's just a way of keeping track of who who made what report um, you can either it'll default to yourself or you can assign it to someone else um, the other thing is uh, what module do you want to report from in our case we're going to do opportunities but you can select any of the available ones here and they all work pretty much the same way so I'm going to select opportunities and then you'll see on the left hand side I get all the fields that come from opportunities. Um, you may also want to um, select fields from other modules. So for example, uh, if I want to do accounts or something, you can also pull fields from accounts as long as they're related to opportunities kind of thing. Um, but uh, in our case we just want opportunities and you'll see the values down below change depending on what module we select um, but right now we're gonna do opportunities uh, I'm going to select a few fields here and just kind of show you how it works so um, let's see the date created so we want to know when the opportunity started um, we are going to want to know uh, the name of the opportunity uh, is a good one to have and let's say we want to know the account name we also want to know um, let's say the sales stage and um, what else uh, maybe we want we want to know the lead source okay we'll put that one in as well okay I'll just move myself out of the way here um, so you can see we the fields that we've chosen are day created, opportunity name, account name, sales stage, and lead source. So it will show those on the report for all opportunities. Um, some of the formatting options you have here. Uh, so if we take a look at the opportunity name, for example, we may want to do it in such a way that um, on the opportunity name, we'll, we'll be able to click on it and drill down to the opportunity. So in order to do that, all you simply do is click on here, link, and it will link it to the opportunity. Um, some of the other uh, options you have here are um, a grouping, let's say. Um, I could group it by sales stage, which means the report will basically sort by sales stage and then um, it will, uh, and you have a choice here of ascending or descending, and group them all together in one report. Um, but I want to do something a little bit more advanced. I want each uh, group to be kind of its own section of the report. So what I'm going to do instead of doing that is I'm going to go to the main group here and I'm going to select sales stage. Um, and you'll see what that does when I'm when I'm finished with it. Some of the other options you may have here uh, by default uh, date created is going to end up being uh, like a date time field uh, but maybe I want to format it as uh, year month day. Um, let's say my, oh, I didn't put it in, opportunity amount. Uh, I'm going to want that. So let's say in each grouping that I've done for sales stage, I also want to know the total amount uh, of the, of the, lead, of the uh, opportunity. So all I do here is sum it. Um, and maybe I want to know the number of opportunities in each group. 
Uh, so in that case, I'm going to go on opportunity name and I'm going to count them. Um, so that's going to give me a pretty decent report. So let's uh, save it and have a look at it. Okay, so uh, you'll see here that I have uh, closed lost, closed lost, closed lost. Uh, that's not really what I want. Um, I, I really just want the open reports. So um, the rest of the layout looks pretty good. I've got the date created, the opportunity. I've got the opportunity amount. Um, and then it adds them all up properly. It counts the number of opportunities in each grouping. Um, so let me go back here and take a look at what I did. So what I'm going to do here is uh, it's going to make sense to keep it sorted by sales stage. Um, and then what I want to do here is go into conditions. And then um, sales stage. And I'm going to add a condition. So there's a number of ways of doing this uh, you can have equal to or not equal to so I could say equal to a value and I could say I only want to see ones that are in the qualification stage that's one filter I could apply um, but what I really want is I want to see everything except for ones that are closed or lost so in that case what I can do is I can say not equal to and then I can say one of and then I get all the, the different options here. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to hold down control to choose the second one. So now I've got both of those chosen. Um, and I can save the report. So now this is looking like what, what I want to see. So I've got the uh, sales stage of ID decision makers. And then I've got everybody that's in that sales stage. Um, on the report. Um, I don't think it's working quite right here. It's breaking it up into two sections. So I think what I've done, sometimes this takes a little bit of trial and error. I think because I've sorted it by um, uh, sales stage, it's messing up a little bit. I'm going to sort it by date created. And then I'm going to group it by the sales stage. Okay, let's see if that looks better. Yes, it does. Uh, I find sometimes if you try and sort it by the field it, at which you're grouping it on, it, it can mess it up a little bit. So what we have here now is what I wanted. I've got qualification stage and I've got all of the um, uh, opportunities that are in that stage sorted by date and I've got the um, total amount for that stage listed here. Uh, ID decision makers, you'll see I've got that sorted properly as well, totaled and counted, uh, qualification, value proposition, um, and it looks like it's working properly here. Although I keep seeing qualification twice, could just be the demo data is not uh, set up properly. These, these ones actually look like they're they're blank in terms of um, uh, opportunity stage. Um, but in general, that's what I'm trying to do here. So um, the next thing we might want to do is um, let's say we want to further filter this, and let's just say. Looks like they're all created on the same date here, so that's not going to help us in terms of learning something. Um, let's say we just want to see opportunities that came from what makes sense here, uh, the website. Okay, that would be a good filter. Okay, so I'm going to go back and edit it and go to my conditions. And I already have the conditions that anything that's not equal to open or closed, but I'm going to add another condition. Uh, so if I click on my fields here, I'm going to say lead source, and I'm going to say is equal to, and I'm going to pick a pick one of them here, website, and save it. 
So now you'll see I only see the leads that come from the website uh, on this report. And that's kind of what I wanted to get to. So um, you'll, there's a number of different options in sorting and creating reports. Uh, we've done grouping. We've done you know selecting a bunch of different fields. We've done filtering. We've done uh, a couple of different conditions filtering the report. So that should give you a really good base in figuring out how to do your own reports and, and what you need. Um, the last thing I promised to do was show you how to add it to your dashboard. So now that this report is created, I'm just going to go back home and go to my dashboard. And um, what I wanted to do here was show you how to add another tab here. So I'm going to just delete this one for a second. If you ever want to delete a tab, it's really easy. Uh, under Actions, you just edit the tabs and get rid of the one you don't want and close it and it's gone. So uh, the reason why I got rid of it is because I wanted to show you how to create one. So uh, to create a new tab, you just uh, add a tab. You can add pretty much as many as you want. I've, uh, I'm not sure what happens when you get past the end of the screen. I've never added that many, but you know, generally if you want to add a few more, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to add opportunity report. Okay, and number of columns is just um, how wide do you want each report to be on the screen. So on the home page, for example, it's two columns. You can put two columns with the reports. It gives you options here, one, two, or three. I'm going to make this one column, one full page report. Okay, um, add the tab, and you'll see now I have an opportunity re report page. I could have just as easily added it to my home page if I wanted to. Um, but just because it's a big report, it kind of makes sense to put it on its own page. So once I select the tab, you'll see there's nothing on it. I'm going to add a dashlet. And you can pick any of the predefined dashlets that are already there. But in our case, what we want is reports. And as soon as you see it added in the background, you can just close that. I'll move myself out of the way here. And you'll see, oh, didn't add it. Let me try that again. Uh, add a dashlet, reports, close, ah, there it is. Uh, sometimes you need to just refresh the page. Um, so anyway, I added it twice. I'll get rid of one. Um, now that the report module is there on the dashlet, um, the other thing I need to do is add the the specific report to it. So I'll just click on the pencil to edit it. And let's change the title to Opportunity Report. And all we need to do is select the report. So this is the report all the reports that are available. If you had you know hundreds of reports, obviously you could search for them. Uh, I'm just going to pick the one that I had and save it. And there we go. So it's now permanently added to this dashlet here. Um, so every time I go into Sweet CRM, I'll get my home screen. And if I want to see this report, it'll be there all the time. Uh, you can also, you know, obviously at any time go to reports and run any report you want and rerun the report. Um, but this is how to add it as a report on your dashboard if you want to see it. You know, it's a really important part, report you want to use every day. Um, so that's it. It's uh, really user friendly, uh, easy to make reports. Um, if you have any questions, you know, you can please comment below. Um, it would really help me if you enjoy these videos to please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. It helps me make some more videos and keep it in front of people. Um, also, if uh, you need help with Sweet CRM, that is my day job. I help consult and help people uh, install Sweet CRM. I help people. Um, uh, organize their uh, selling uh, stages and selling um, uh, profile in order to, to fit with Sweet CRM and, and work the two together. Um, if you need any technical help or issues installing it, click on the link below. That's what I do. You can help me out. Uh, again, Paul Stevens, I go sales and marketing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.